Training Sergeant Mitchell? That's him, in the second to last row. Thanks. Okay, that was weird. She didn't ask him anything, and just like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Sergeant Mitchell? Yes? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions concerning one of my investigations? Young lady, I haven't worked in investigations for a long time. I doubt I can be much help. It's concerning an old case, but I'm still looking into it. The Kirsten case? Because you can't locate the file, is that right? Yes, that's right. The file's been classified. How'd you like to do some target practice with me? Sure. Why not? No, she did. It's time for an FPS, guys. Your gun is right in front of you. Go ahead. You ready for some action, boys? Boys. Uh, right mouse to reload. Okay. Bam. Bam. Innocent. Bam. Bam. Oh. I think I made a mistake. I made my mouse a bit faster. That's bad. Right, one shot, reload. That was the fastest reload I've ever seen. I'm pretty good at this, because it's easy. I think the three circles on the left... Oh shit, I'm out of bullets. Are for failing. Or something. No, I missed. Shit. You ruined my perception. Perception, yeah? Precision, sorry. Not perception. Perception, something else. Playing Fallout 4 too much. So I'm mixing stuff. No, shit. I saw that meals a mile away. Okay. Ah, shit. Too fast. Getting challenging now. Damn it. Oh, that was way too fast. Haha, I got you. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. How the hell do we know who fired at what? I mean, there are... Oh, shit. There are few slots, right? Occupied. Damn it. By few police officers. And this is quite wide. Like, it's for everyone that is shooting right now. And yet, only I'm being tested? That's just weird. You know what I mean? You're a very good shot. I have to say, you're a heck of a lot better than most I see around here. So, what do you want to know about the Kirsten case? Well, for instance, what exactly happened? Guy named Kirsten's calmly shopping in his local supermarket. He's in the kitchen accessories aisle when someone picks up a knife and stabs him to death. Killer? Was the killer apprehended? He didn't move from the spot. We found him sitting on the floor next to the victim like he was waiting for us with this blank stare on his face. Bizarre. Maybe he just cracked, lost it for a moment. Some people are like time bombs just waiting to go off. That's the first theory I had, until I saw the coroner's report. Each knife entry cut cleanly into an artery, leading to the heart with perfect accuracy. Precision like that, I mean, the guy had a one in a million chance of doing that. Even if he'd been a surgeon. Uh, killer's profiler. Did he have any history of drug addiction? Or previous psychiatric problems? 
That's the first angle I looked into, but no. No drugs, no drinking, just a very normal Joe. Family man, wife and kids, good neighbor. No, what are, you, what are you doing? Carla, no, keep investigating. Fuck's sake. Damn it, Carla. Excellent target. Looks like you're a natural. So, investigation? You didn't stop your investigation there, did you? No, this case really intrigued me. What could have motivated him to do something like that? I mean, I checked out piles of leads and, and discovered almost by accident that this wasn't the first. There had been other killings with the same profile. You mean where the killer had the same bizarre M.O. and stuck around afterwards? Exactly. Three weeks earlier, on the other side of town, another stabbing victim in the middle of the street, no motive. Then I discovered a third case, two months prior to that. Then another, and another, and always the same M.O. Any links? You mean to say the killings are all connected? No idea. All I know is that the murders were basically identical. He slices the arteries leading to the heart, slices them cleanly, and then carves a symbol on his own arms. Just in case. And your investigation into the supermarket killing. Did it lead anywhere? You should drop this one, detective. This is not just a murder case. There's something very odd going on behind the scenes. Looks like I'll be starting a new file. No, don't test me again with this shit. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna be shooting this time. Thank you, Carla. Lucas Apartment. Alright, guys. So, some of the recording got completely shit. So I'm gonna have to redo this part. As you can see, I already played the rest of them. Wait, did I? Uh, yeah. It's, I'm just looking at the date and I'm just like, wait, the time doesn't sync up. And I'm just like, oh wait, it's the, <laughs> it's the game's time, right? So, um, I'm gonna play this part of this chapter until it, the file got corrupted and whatnot, and then the rest of the recordings will be continued, like, you know, whatever I already have. I do hope, though, it won't overwrite it. Because, as you can see, i just gone quite far. Well, not too far, but far enough. Okay? So, let's do this without saving. Uh, actually, let's do a new login for this. Save. I'll call it save, because if anything will be fucked up next time, I will have the save thing. Okay, yes. And we have the telephone ring. Basically, I already know what's gonna happen now, so... You know. It will be a bit less surprising, but I bet not as much... Uh, you know, the fail will st still be there. Lucas Kane. Master Nakdilan, Kata Nekli, Kortnitlan, Nitlan, Nestan, Apanin, Ohni, Iklan, Taino. Shit's about to go down, yo. Okay, so it's a bodging time. Please make it save properly and don't corrupt the file, please. It's actually quite annoying because I cannot even play the file, let alone shit, edit it. Holy shit, almost failed there. Okay. Like. When I try to extract the audio from it, it gives me a blank slate. And uh, when I try to play the video on the VLC player, it actually does not play. And if I'll try to load it to Vegas, Vegas just 
stop responding. Which is, yeah. So the file is obviously corrupt or not properly saved or whatever you want to call it. It's basically shit. But I am doing pretty well on the dodging stuff. So, oh, 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 almost failed there. Jinxing myself because I can. But all along, a great job. Is it fun? Yeah. Tapping time! Oh, man. I just noticed uh, that the music it is quite low. Although, it's actually good, I think, if I want to call it good. Because later on in the game, there's music playing, which I'm not sure if it's copyrighted or not. So, I don't want to get my video copyrighted, if you know what I mean. I'm really, really focusing right now, sorry for not talking, guys. Ah! You see what happens when I talk? I fucking fail. Shit. Well, at the original, I did not actually fail at any of those. So it might be weird for you that right now I'm lacking one life. And the rest of the episodes I will have full. Don't think that I'm cheating or something. It just... You know why, alright? And I think... There's... We're gonna be very close to death really soon because we're losing ground. Actually... Actually the game is creating a path for me to go through. No! What? How the fuck did I fail? Okay. No, <laughs> that was fucking stupid. Hey, I made it. I'm alive. He's behind you, Lucas. I love the evil laugh, but what? Lucas's terrifying story haunted me all night long. I had to see him, to talk to him. I had to find out what Agatha had told him. I wanted to look my brother in the eye and hear the truth. I'd never been to his apartment before, and it took me some time to find it. You poor little sod. Uh, where is Lucas's apartment, actually? Is, this, is it this one? Lucas Kane. That's it. Ring the bell. Ding dong. Ring the bell again. Lucas? Lucas, open the door! Lucas! Bash in. I could swear that I heard a scream coming from inside. You did. 
The doorman said Lucas was at home, but he isn't opening. Lucas is in danger. I've got no other choice. That wasn't even the fall. You can see the hand. There's the hand there. Rush, rush, no times, yo. Lucas! Oh my god! Save, save him. You did it! Victory! Lucas, for God's sake! Have you lost your mind? What's come over you? The walls... The walls were blown away and... The wind... The tempest... I... Why did you do this, Lucas? Why? Somebody tried to kill me. For heaven's sake, Lucas! There's no one else here but you and I. You were all alone when I arrived. All alone, Lucas! What's happening to me, Marcus? I don't know what's happening! It'll be alright, Lucas. Everything will be fine. You don't know that. I'm gonna help you. You'll see. Don't lie. Don't make pr promises you cannot keep, man. The fudge. 